Hey guys, just working on this uh, brush hog gear box here, and uh, you can see the problem that uh, has developed here. That is not the way the thing is supposed to look. So, what happens when metal shards go down into the bearings? No oh, bad things. So, the way this is set up in, inside this housing here, and I, I looked on YouTube, didn't see a whole lot of whole lot of stuff in regards to the lower housing area. Um, you've got uh, this is all full of oil, so there's a cap that goes on the bottom. The shaft sticks out here. There's a castle nut, and that's what holds the blades below. And then up here at the top is the other gear input gear is here and it splines with the uh, this sits this way the problem you got is you got a bearing up here and you got a bearing down here and you got a sleeve that sits in the middle here and this bearing sits down here and they're, they're pressed in there like a typical bearing so getting these out is the challenge so just wanted to show you if you don't have a bearing puller uh, a real easy way to do it um, so this would be I'm not going to put it back in because I just pulled it out but let's get a piece of a chunk of 2x4 and drill uh, now in this case the shaft is an inch and a half and I drilled, drilled a couple other holes there um, and what I did is, you just cut, get a couple bolts like this, carriage bolts, that will fit into those nubs there, just like that. And you want to put your, put your nut in a washer, so the nut goes on first, and then your washer goes on. And then that sits in here. So the nut and the washer provide pressure. And you can tighten that critter up. So you're pushing pressure against this 2x4. Then with your castle nut, you grab that. So with the castle nut, you crank that bad boy on. And that sits, if you drill this hole at inch and a half, it'll sit on there nice. Now the trick to this is to keep constant pressure so the way I do that is with this bad boy. So that's an inch and a half driver impact and you just if you get these things to where they're sitting in here almost all the way here then you can actually create your pressure with your impact driver. So this would actually be sitting out a little farther, but I've driven this critter in, so I'll have to beat it off. But um, anyways, cheap way to pull a, and then you just by tapping on, on that, if especially if your bearings are bad and, and you don't really care about them, just tap that out, boom, 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 boom. The whole thing will come out with a little bit of time and effort. Um, there is a retention clip that goes in here. This one's shot. I'll have to get a new one, but uh, that holds that bearing up there. So... Now I just have to reassemble. I got to clean this out. It's full of metal shavings from the from the old gear. So get all that cleaned up. I think this bearing is okay here. I'm going to leave it. Probably should replace it, but I'm going to leave it. So um, so yeah. Anyways, that's uh, how you pull the bottom output shaft out of your typical brush hog deal there. So don't don't be intimidated by it. Good luck.